Uh, controls. Olympia Tower, Jetlink 953, visual runway 17. Jetlink 953, Olympia Tower, wind 120 at 7. Runway 17, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 17, Jetlink 953. All right. Radio check. Mic check. Loud clear. Loud and clear. All right. Cylinder head tap, not quite 200. We're there. Okay. Magneto check. Here we go. Left. One. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Good. Okay. And one, two. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Good. Carb heat's already checked. We're up. I watch that rise. Sprite clutch coming up to 80. And split is good. Low RPM. Good. Frequency set, 135725124.4, and we are squawking altitude at 1200. Doors are closed, mine's closed. closed. All right, and then we're going friction, rotor tip. And then, friction's off. Rotor tip, not check. We got forward, back, left, and right. Good. Coming up to 97. Fish contact flight service frequencies. Olympia Airport's closed to transient aircraft, excluding 24 hour PPR. Large transient parking ramp closed. Small transient parking ramp closed. Taxiway Echo between Taxiway Delta and Taxiway Foxtrot closed. Check ZSC Nutums for Olympic Air Show TFRs. Beginning later this evening at 2345 Zulu. Use caution for increased bird activity in around the airport. Advise us contact if information, Mike. Okay. It's so airport information, Mike. Mike. 1754 Zulu observation. One column visibility 10. Two clouds 2200. 2800 scattered. Ceiling 4900 overcast. Temperature 14, 2.10. Altimeter 29 or 81. ILS from my 17 approach in use. Did you hear the winds? I don't want to have to listen to it. Calm. calm, okay. Yeah. Information, Mike. We do have uh, the notum showing that echo is closed between. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. We're, we're the exception. We're the exception. We're the fancy people. Okay. So, um, what are we doing? So, when you pick up, uh, same place, northwest departure. Um, when you pick up, your skid should not leave, like, you know, this the vicinity space. of this helipad. Right. Because we got that, we got that. And you're trying to be a private pilot, so you got to stay right over this. Okay. All right. No pressure. All righty. No warning lights. RPMs in the green. No one, two, three in the green. Carb heat all the way up. Right trim down. Good on fuel. All right. And you are going to be at the controls in case I stray. I'm yeah. not yeah, I going to, but you know. All right. That's what I'm here for. Plane to the right. Nothing in front, nothing above. Helicopter to the left. We've got trucks moving behind me. And what's the information? Mike. Mike, okay. Information, Mike. Sounds good. Which way do you want me to actually depart? Out over the field? Uh, We're going north, obviously. But head over that way. Just over the field, go around the windsock on the left side, and then go northwest. Copy that. Just watch out. There's a bunch of people around us. Yep, yep. All right. Going up. Nice and slow. Okay. We're up. Did you clear your right side? I did clear my right side. Okay. Sorry, I just didn't say it. Gotcha. Okay. Jet link 953, uh, left turn, one able, and then contact ground 121.6. Uh, left on, 
Lima, 112.6, Olympia Tower, helicopter 300, Juliet Mike, at Glacier Ramp, requesting northwest departure with information, Mike. Helicopter 300, Juliet Mike, Olympia Tower, departure from the ramp, pilot zone risk, northwest bound approved, wind 1105. Departure to northwest approved, at pilot zone risk, zero Juliet Mike. Okay. Uh, should we wait for these Jelly guys? Nope. Three, I have control. Ground, you have taxi, control. Let's left go. Turn, fox trot, and then cross on right 26 at fox trot. Hold short tax vehicle. You have controls? I have controls. You have controls. Clear left. Clear right. RPMs in the green. One, two, three, in the green. Car all the way up. Right trim up. Good on fuel. Okay, we are at 700. How's your day been? Pretty good. It was a little bit of a late night last night with my, my kid, so. Oh, no. I uh, slept in a little bit to make up for it. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I'm happy to be here. Nice. Cheers. Really good. Uh, it was my last, uh, my daughter's last day of kindergarten. Oh, yep. My so son's last day of school is on, the, on Tuesday. I drove up to her school in Puyall up and took some pictures and wished her a happy last day and, and came back down here. Nice. Yeah. All right. I did not set my GPS this time. I assume we're kind of heading in the right direction because we power. are. We're actually heading in the right direction. Okay. Just keep going straight. Yep. Head for a somewhat bare patch. It's like the valley of that. Yeah. All right. Continuing to ascend. If you get too hot, cold, let me know, and I can move things around. Will do. Weird seeing the airport with all the commotion and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Wonder why they decided to hold the air show there, of all places, instead of like. I think because it's right next to the museum, and they already have a lot of. Uh, oh. I, I, I think there's a lot of resources there, like the gate to open, uh, to go onto the taxiway. The museum's already there. Um, Jelly 953, you can make the left turn on to Echo. They probably don't have to move a lot of, you know, they would have to move more stuff. Yeah. Less hassle to shut down that area for a couple days. Probably. Yeah, the TFR goes into effect uh, at 4.45 today. Yeah, Sam and, and Gary were talking about that because somebody wanted, to, wanted a special exception for themselves. They called and asked if they could have the tower's number, or if they could have an exception. She's like, oh, it's not, I don't think so. Here's the tower's number. They wanted to, like, leave after it had started or something. Like a student or just a regular person? Just somebody in one of the jets that's parked here. They wanted to be able to leave at, like, 5.30 or 6 or something like that. Oh. Nah, bro. Yeah, you're not special. Unless you're like Bill Gates or 
Right. You know. Let me fund your airport for you. Just like you ground, uh, you cut out that last part. Take it. Jeff Bezos or something. Yeah, I did some work on one of his buildings on his island. Oh, nice. Yeah, they have a, uh, you have to sign that. Roger, uh, you can proceed on the uh, access road and then out on some... You have to sign non-disclosure agreements and they have to search you before you come in and their armed guards like walk around with their ARs strapped oh to their chest God. following you around. Jeez, man. Yeah, that was fun. All right, Rich man. guy. Yeah. I wonder how much time he actually spends at his house. I thought it was funny how he got divorced and his wife became like one of the top richest women <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Sorry, Oprah. <laughs> All right, I think we're a little bit north of our spot, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Taking a scenic route. Yeah. There it is, right over there. It shows ground speed 84, so we've got a east, a tailwind from uh, the east. Climb. There's wires right in front of us. Copy that. Yeah, that's right. Valleys between hills. It's the danger spot. All right, we're above them. Okay. Not today. <laughs> I'll let you do your thing, land on the same spot. All right, so I see smoke over here to my right. It looks like wind is behind us right now. It's heading about this direction. So I'm gonna land the other way. A little high right now. So I'm gonna lower some altitude while I'm here. Slow down a little bit. Circle once and pretend twice, or you want me to just do the whole thing? Um, just do it once. Do it once, copy yep. that. Okay, got no wildlife, no... Oh, we're looking for wildlife wires. We got our way in and our way out off the top of that hill there. We've got no issues there, and our wind is from the east. Happy with that. Yep, and confirmed at 60 knots. We had about a 65. Or, uh, oh, weird. Oh, never mind. It didn't update. Okie doke. A little so, bit of left pedal. Left pedal, copy. I say winds are calm, man. Yeah, it's yeah. not really something we need to worry about, but I'm going to pretend they're coming from the east. I'm going to go out this way and come okay. back. Sounds good. Left pedal. Left pedal. Oh, the strings. Okay. All right, no warning lights. RPMs in the green. One, two, three, in the green. Carb heat up. All right, trim is down. Maintaining the 60 knots. We are climbing. Let's stop that right now. Uh, we're getting my right base. Okay. We're climbing because we slowed down. Yep, I just realized that. I did the back and and lower collective. All right. All right. Any my approach in three, two, one. Fifty 
knots. Beginning descent. Oh, we slowed way too fast. Is collective. Okay. All right. You're still in control. All right. You have controls. I have controls. You have controls. Go ahead and pick a spot for us to land. Make sure it's clear. Picking. I'm going to go with this patch right here to my right. Okay. I'm going to face my buddy bear tree over there. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do a max P. Max P. And let's do it again. Okay. So you came in super low. Um, you're coming in almost even below where you need to land, right? Think of a, think of a regular approach, right? We want to come in at um, like a 10 degree angle, right? We want to come down on top of it, not below it. Um, and it's also a safety concern because if there's things, um, if there's wires that we don't see, we're going to run right into them. So that's why we want to come in. Um, like almost on top of our spot. Yeah, finding the sweet, so sweet spot between speed and altitude is tricky for me, I think. And then also don't forget to use whatever you, you know, the compass, yeah. trim strings, use your aiming point because I could see it from way back there that we were too really, low. really shallow, yeah. Okay, so I went too shallow. I was trying for shallow, but I went too shallow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we were, we didn't even end up over here. We ended up like underneath where our spot was, so. Okay. Copy that. All right, no warning lights. RPM's in the green. One, two, three, in the green. Car peat down. Right trim down. Um, and I'm gonna take off that way. Is that okay? Fewer things, I don't have to go as high? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, going up. Going up. That was a little rough. Sorry. That's okay. All right, facing where I want to go. Clear on the right. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. Max P in three, two, one. Going up. Twenty-two and a half. And forward. Okay. Into ETL. Okay. Up. <clears throat> All right, same spot. Same spot. All right, I'm gonna go out this way and loop around. And you don't have to circle it. Yep, I'm just gonna go out and turn around to the right here. Yeah, just to save time. Yep. Okay, six knots, clear right. Above these trees. Beginning of my approach in three, two, one. Okay. Yes. 
slow down. Slow it down. Days collective. Keep slowing down. Keep slowing down. Yikes. Keep slowing down. That was, again, rough. Clear. Ah, what is Hold going on. on? Let's clear before you start doing turns. Yep. Okay. Clear in the left. On the right. Go ahead and set us down. Man, what is going on there? So what I noticed was you held airspeed. Um, you went down to 55 and then you went up to like 57. And it wasn't until after about halfway through your approach that you finally started to go below 50 knots. Remember, even at the airport, once we go ahead and sit down, I'll, I'll let you focus. If I miss it the first try during my check ride, is that going to be a problem? No. You okay. just abort. Just say. No, I mean with the landing. Like if I'm touching her and bouncing around nope. a little bit. No, nope. just say you want to try again. Go ahead and do a max B and we'll do it again. Okay, what were you and saying I'll, about the approach? I have controls. You have controls? I have controls. So with the approach, um, you stayed above, you were like at 55 knots the whole time. Um, I would say once you got about halfway through your approach, um, that's when you started to decrease your airspeed. So the majority of that approach, you were well above 50 knots. Whereas at the very beginning of your approach, you're at 50 knots. Right, you start your approach, you go from 60 to 50. Yep. And then from there, you steadily continue to de decrease that airspeed. Yeah, so even past 30, like, you know, you said 30 and 300 is, yes. is bad. So if I'm still way above it, do I need to stay faster and drop? At what point? Like, during the, the approach? Like, where, where? Because obviously you say keep bleeding off speed, but at some point I hit 30 and you st and, and we were still below 300, so I actually like raised or actually yeah I pulled collective and we slowed down our vertical descent even though or because we were under 30. Yes. So you never ever at any point if you're below 30 knots you never want to have a VSI that's having you descend greater than 300 feet yep. per uh, per minute. Um, so that is like law, right? Yep. So. As I'm saying this, if it violates that, don't do it, right? So, meaning we can't drop a lot of altitude. Like if we're 100 feet away, yeah, we can't really we, go down fast. We can't go down. We can't go down uh, that fast, right? So you have to make sure that you're on the right glide path out there in the beginning, because if you realize that you're going too fast, you're too high, um, and you're only like 50 feet away from your spot, then you can't make it. Okay. Okay, let me show you. Yep, XP. No warning lights, RPMs in the green. One, two, three in the green. Car beads down, yep. trim is down. Good on fuel going up. Go. And I think the last time that we flew, I think we came to the conclusion that those trees that you've been starting, um, they're too short. Like, they're, they're too close to your approach. I thought we were... Uh, extending it a little bit, a little bit further. Was I at those trees again? Yeah, yeah, you were at the same like group of trees over here. Okay, so we just need to go out even further. Yeah. Okay. Car repeats up. Okay. Nope, it's not. Oh, I hit the lock. There we go. I don't have you feel long of what I'm doing. Yeah. Weird, I've done it once. Can't seem to do it again. There's nothing wrong with extending your downwind, right? So you've been turning like right here. Yeah. Extend it a little bit further. Stay right to here. So automatically, right, I'm, three, I'm about 300 AGL. I'm gonna slow myself down. All right, now I'm at 60 knots. Now I'm gonna take my turn. 
holding 60 knots. No warning lights on the ends of the green, one, two, three, in the green, Kirby's on the way up, trim is down, good on fuel. Right, I'm holding 60 knots. This looks a lot better. I have a lot of time to react here. You can break right your 60 knots, 300 AGL. No, I'm just going to feel. Yeah, yeah, I want you to okay. feel along. All right, I'm going to start my approach at 3, 2, 1. Lower collective to go down, aft cyclic to slow down. Boom, already at 50. Right, now I'm continuing to slow down. Now I'm looking at my spot, using my trim strings to aim. Now sometimes I have to raise collective. Sometimes I have to go forward cyclic. Now I'm still bleeding off airspeed. 40 knots. 400 VSI. I'm going to reduce my airspeed a little bit more as I'm getting closer. Raising that collective. Reducing airspeed. Raising collective. Okay, so now I'm at 30 knots. I can't descend faster than 300 VSI. Everything's already dialed in. Just gonna bump off that airspeed, raise collective, a little bit forward cyclic now. Roger will be looking for that one, uh, one piece of Juliet. There we go. Clear right. Okay, clear left. All right, go ahead and lower that car beat for me. Car beat is down. Okay. No max worries. speed. Car beat is three. One, two, three is the green. Right, trim is down. Okay. You're good. Max speed three, two, one. You have controls. Vita. I have controls. You have controls. Alright. Alright, let's give this a shot. I got it. You got it. Approach in three, two, one. All right. Much better. Raise collective a little bit. Spot's oh, getting too high. Say spots too high. Oh, we're not. We're below it a little. Yeah, this is good though. Raise collective a little bit more. We're going to come out of ETL, so we're going to drop a little bit forward cyclic. Forward cyclic. Forward cyclic. Raise collective. Raise collective. Yep. Raising. 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 Much better. Raise All collective. Right. All right. That yep. was it. That was good enough. Yeah, that just, was very good. I just got to master that. Okay, yeah. same thing. Clear. All right, you want me to sit down? Nope. Okay. I got your car beat. Car beat. No warning lights, RPMs in the green. One, two, three in the green. Car beat's down. Trim is down. Good on fuel. All right. Max P. Max P going straight up. Bunch of power. Power. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're clear. Going okay. forward. Okay. 
into ETL. Uh, car beat. We're good. Okay, one more, or do we yeah, need to go Yeah, let's do another one. Okay. Now, I told you to raise collective because I was using my aiming points, right? Yep. To figure out, all right, it's too high, meaning we need to raise collective. If it's too low, right, we're coming in too steep, so we have to lower collective. Understood. That's the only way that I know whether to raise collective or not. I'm just looking at my reference points on the bubble. Yeah. I think my reference point's a little fat. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I need to pick a part of it. I'm just using the whole thing. Like you could use like the bottom screw, the top screw, whichever, you know. Yeah, more like the bolts on the top of the mount. Yeah. All right, we are a little low for this to begin, but okay. Slow down a little bit, 70, 65. We are way out here, but that's okay. All right, on base. I did not do that. No warning lights. I did the green. One, two, three, in the green. Car beat up. I trimmed it out. Okay. All right. So if it's your bolts, if it's the bolts on the compass. Yeah. All right, beginning of my approach, three, two, one. Okay. Good job raising collective. This is perfect. You're at 40 knots, that's great. A lot of right pedal right now. <laughs> left pedal. Step away from the strings. Yep. As you come out of ETO, raise collective, because you're going to drop, raise collective. You want to stay above our spot, a little bit forward, uh, cyclic. Perfect. That's it. A little bit forward. Oh, there we go. Forward, yeah. Ooh, hey. Okay. Was that me? Did you do anything there? No, I didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> it felt like the pedals got pushed, but that's just me. Okay. All right, let's head back. Heading back, okay. okay. I got your car beat. Okay. No warning lights, RPMs in the green, one, two, three in the green, car beats all the way down, trims down, good on fuel. Going right. up. Going up. Up, 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 not too much power. Okay, continuing forward. That last one was very good. Okay. Much better. Uh, glad to hear it. So what I would recommend when you go back, um, write down any mental notes that you kind of made to get yourself to do that type of approach and remember them, right? Not, write them down and... I think the losing, losing airspeed was the thing I was afraid of, losing airspeed too quickly. But like you were saying, just the glide slope is really the thing I needed to think about, so. All right. And the airport is about this direction. Ooh, that's a big fire. Okay, no warning lights. RPM's in the green. One, two, three, in the green. Car beats up. Right trim's up. And let's do 75, 80. Maybe 85. I think these people ever, like, just look out there and see what the hell is that helicopter doing. But yeah, definitely made progress. Um, and that if it if felt you better do, being able to do it twice in a row. Yeah. Would that approach have passed a check ride? Yes. Okay. Yes. Even though it's a little bumpy. Yeah, that's fine. A little. Okay. As long as I get us there without crashing, I guess. Right. Yeah. No, that that last one that you did would have been an easy pass. Good. I just need to do that again and again.
Oh, hey. We're hauling. We are. There we go. If I'm just not the not to actually do it, but if we ever ended up going over the VNE, how, would we just half cyclic slow down? Or because obviously we'd start falling, right? Uh, over the VNE, we'd be basically outrunning our own lift. No, no, we would go into uh, retreating blade stall. Oh, so we would roll to the left. Yes, the retreating side of the blade would stall and all of our lift would be coming from our advancing side and we would feel like a, uh, a rolling motion. And countering that is? Slow down. Slowing down. And don't get into it in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. But uh, what we would basically feel is like a, a rolling a action sure. and then also due to gyroscopic precession would be a lifting and a rolling to the left. So we would bump up like that. Yeah. And uh, before that, it'll just be really turbulent. So even before we start feeling that rolling, lifting motion, uh, it's going to get really turbulent. It's going to feel like the helicopter doesn't want to do this. All right, now we're about six and a half. Juliet Mike, three miles to your northwest. Uh, inbound for Glacier Ramp with information November. Helicopter 300 to the Mike, Olympia Tower, continue inbound for Glacier Ramp, report one mile west. Report one mile west, 00, zero Juliet Mike. I said 00, zero, but whatever. So down to 500 AGL. Once we get closer, um, after your, your report, I'm going to take controls on land since we have yep. a lot of people. I was going to ask if you would do that, so <laughs> sounds good. And go 90. Go at 90. I'm sorry, we forgot to do uh, quick stops, but... No, that's all good. I think I got some of what I needed out of that yeah. last couple couple tries. We can obviously do real quick stops at some other point, but I think that what we did today helped me a lot. Good. So. 
your landings definitely look. Um, the the <laughs> last one was was exactly where you need to be. That's it's perfect. Okay. So now I just got to remember to do that now that we're <laughs> going into a few days of break. I'll uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking also when we sit down and we're shut down. Yeah, it'd be great. Just walk through. Okay, we are two miles. road or more west. Okay. Here's I-5, I'm just going to call it at I-5. Olympia Tower, helicopter 300 Juliet Mike reporting one mile. Helicopter 0 Juliet Mike landing at the Glacier Ramp, pilot zone risk lane 1604. Landing at Glacier Ramp at own risk, 0 Juliet Mike. Do you have controls? I have controls. You have controls. I have controls. No warning lights, RPMs in the green, one, two, three, three. RPMs all the way up. Trip is down, good on fuel. All right. Tower helicopter 3 8 Alpha is frac theory 2, look for frac theory 1. Look up 3 8 Alpha air taxi 2, frac theory 1 is approved, cross runway 17. Cross runway 17, taxi approved, thanks, sir. Are you going on the right side of the windsock? Yeah. All right, no aircraft to the right. Clear left, clear right. There's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> Where are you? We only have one helipad. And that's really close to the wing of that thing. It is. Uh, Can you land between them temporarily and we'll wheel us off? I will land over. Code game, move the cone out of the way. 